How's it going YouTube? Chris here in my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this morning. Hope everybody's had a good week. Uh, getting close to New Year's and uh, did want to do this video. It's probably the last video I do for this year and we'll get back on it next year. But uh, I want to share some demo worthy movies, uh, my go-tos, uh, in my opinion, some of the best sounding movies uh, that's in my collection, not necessarily this, not this out there, but just what's in my collection. So, uh, I want to kind of share some of those with you. Uh, most of you guys probably already have these movies, but if you don't, it's definitely worth picking up. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so my first one is Hacksaw Ridge. Um, you can't have a, uh, a theater without having some war movies and, I absolutely love this movie. Andrew Garfield is a fantastic actor and they knock it out of the park with this movie here. And all the scenes that are uh, during the battle is, is, is pretty doggone awesome. And uh, it's definitely demo worthy. A lot of bass, a lot of shooting, a lot of good channel separation. Uh, I always use this as a, as a demo and uh, try my system out. Just want to see what my, uh, my theater will do. And uh, it definitely, uh, it'll give it a workout. So I know most of you may already have it. You can pick it up pretty cheap. Uh, I have the regular version that I've had. And, and of course I picked up the steel book when it came out and uh, just a fantastic movie. It'll give you system a workout. So guys, check that out. Uh, next one I got is Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Now I remember when this movie came out on it may have been DVD or Blu-ray. I cannot remember, but I had it some years ago. Uh, it might've been a super bit DVD, I think. But they brought, and they, I think this was the first one and the, and the animation and the CGI was just, it was phenomenal for its day. And it still holds up today and looks really good. Um, and they've got a couple more and those two sound good. Uh, but this one is just a standout and I mean you can just sit and move in and and watch it Just a fantastic sounding movie. It, it'll it'll give you system will work out at times, but it'll let you Just hear things and just it was you just check your system if it's set up properly. It's in Dolby Atmos and uh, I think that one of the other ones is in Atmos and the other one is not but even the one that's not in Atmos it's in DTS, uh, I don't know if it's 5.1 or 7.1, but it's, uh, it's an aggressive track. It sounds really good. I may do a, another video on uh, some Blu-rays that have, you know, good tracks, but not Atmos or DTS X. I may, I may do a, uh, a video on that. So but definitely Final Fantasy Spirits Within. This is a, it's a, it's a good movie. It's, it's, it's out there. If you're Final Fantasy fans, which I am, Played the games back on PS1, and PS2, and, and and so forth and so on. So they're, they're they're good games. So of course, I like the movie and I understand how it is. But uh, it's just a good movie. It'll give you system to work out, and uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, so next one, got a, I got a pretty big stack of here, guys. But uh, of course, it's Saving Private Ryan. Uh, this movie has been. In my opinion, it demoed for years and years and years, even before they went to an Atmos track. Um, it just just sounded so good, uh, even on DVD, on Blu-ray, and now on 4K Atmos uh, is the best way to watch it. And uh, just a just a good movie. And uh, all the all the scenes in there where they're fighting. I mean, you should hear stuff flying. They're whizzing by, and blowing up and well when those tanks start rolling into town and it'll shake your house and uh just a good movie i highly recommend this one as i do all these movies that i'm going to be showing you but this is a definitely a good one saving prop ryan i think everybody already knows that uh another one i got it's not a 4k but it's Kong skull island now i don't know how i slipped through the cracks not picking up Kong skull island on 4k um, and now it's, it's, it's $25, $30. It's hard to find it on sale 
Uh, I think I paid 10 bucks for this and, and it has an Atmos track. And actually for a, for a Blu-ray, it has a fantastic picture. I just watched this again the other night uh, in my in my theater here. And now that I got everything calibrated and stuff, I'm surprised, I, I swear I'm surprised the neighbors ain't called the law. Uh, this movie is great. I love the cast. It's got a lot of your Marvel uh, characters in here and uh but it's just a good movie man it's just kind of a good way to kind of kicking off the creature verse with this and godzilla and uh i, I highly recommend this one the bass uh the sound it's just good any of the jungle scenes you hear you know, stuff buzzing around it's just a great sounding demo worthy uh movie and i and i like i really like it too so uh Kong skull island and i'm gonna try to find the I've been trying to find a 4K of it, but I don't want to spend $25, $30. Uh, so my next one is DC's, uh, this is the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This is the ultimate edition. This is the one that came out. Uh, it's after Zack Snyder's Justice League said so they've got the uh, IMAX bars on the side that goes to the 4 3 ratio. And I'm going to tell you something. I know DC has good movies, uh, but DC to me is not as good as Marvel as far as their stories and how they interconnect stuff. And, and, and that's all fine and well. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you what, what, what Warner Brothers and DC does have going for them is their picture quality and their sound. You know, whether you like their movies or not, they gonna look good and they gonna sound good. And, and this movie right here, I just watched this uh, two days ago, one, a one afternoon, I just came in from work and pop this in because I hadn't watched it in a while and it literally it blew me away I mean I knew it sounded good before uh, but after watching it again it absolutely <laughs> is phenomenal so uh, as far as demos goes plenty of scenes on here to demo uh, I highly recommend this one also if you want to test your system out show off your system hey on picture and sound I know it's kind of dark looking and that's you know that's kind of what they go for uh, on, on on these movies uh, I think that's <clears throat> uh, kind of happens from the very first Michael Keaton Batman I know they uh, it's, it's always set on dark and, and looking dark and stuff which you know Batman is dark anyway so but anyway even even in the dark it, it's just a, it's got good picture it's, it's definitely got fantastic sound it'll test the system out you can show it off to your friends uh, let's see here Next one we got is Mad Max Fury Road. And I mean, I can't even say enough about this movie. It, it, the picture quality, sound quality, Atmos track. I haven't, I haven't watched it in this theater yet. Uh, and I may actually uh, put it in uh, this afternoon or tonight. Uh, I'm going on a trip here in just a little bit and I may test this out in here, but I knew in my last theater it, 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 it did good. So I'm curious to hear it on my 9.4.6 set up and uh but i know it's a good quality uh i, I definitely want to see what the pitch quality looks like on this 4k because i've watched it on my my 4k tv and i've heard it mother's theater and i know this is a good reference disc uh, for sound and picture and you can't go wrong and i know everybody should have it in their collection maybe maybe you don't hey i highly recommend picking it up and if you pick this one up go ahead and pick the other ones up get the anthology uh you probably can get those pretty reasonable now. Uh, great film. I liked it. I think they're I think they're talking about doing another one, which would be good. So the next one is Dune. And I can't say enough about this and how good it sounds and looks. Uh Dolby Atmos track is, is good. Um, I've watched it in this theater here and it is it is awesome. I think we got another one coming next year. And I think maybe, I don't remember if it's the following year or whatever. I think there's, I know there's two more coming. So, and from what I understood, this story is going to pick up right where it's left off. There's no gap. It just, it's one. Actually, the director said it's, it, he's filming this as one continuous movie broke up in three parts, but it, it just looks like it never stopped. So that's pretty interesting to see how they do that. And, uh, Picture and sound, hey, <laughs> it's good. This is a very good movie. I know most everybody, most everybody knows all the movies that I'm going to show. 
uh, probably with the exception of the uh, uh, Final Fantasy, but but still. Uh, can't go wrong with Dune. I know it's been cheap lately. I did was able to pick up the uh, steel book that I've been looking for for a while. And uh, and I don't know if you can pick that one up anymore, but I know you can get, you were able to get that, that Dune for, uh, for about 10 bucks or so. But uh, anyway, I definitely highly suggest picking it up. So the next one is uh, Ready Player One. I mean, you got, I don't even know what, what else to say about this one. This is, is always going to be in everybody's top 10 best sounding movies. I mean, it, I mean, the race scene is probably the most popular scene, but it don't stop there. It goes beyond that. The very opening scene uh, in this, where the drones flying over, I can hear them. I mean, I can hear them on my front height, and it just travels from speaker to speaker to speaker as it pans over your head. It is, it is phenomenal. Uh, Kong, you can hear him running through the top of the uh, ceiling. Uh, the trains, all the coins flying up in the in the race scene. I mean, this is a good movie. Uh, I know they are talking about doing Ready Player Two. I hope it happens. Uh, be be anxious to see how they how they, you know, what the story is going to be about. But uh, man, I love this movie. Uh, Had been uh, a few days. I've been I've been testing it. I've been having people come. And, checks the theaters out and I've been playing this for them and uh man this is this is good one. I know everybody has it. If you don't get it, I'm telling you get it. Uh another movie that I love and that is Ford versus Ferrari. And I'll tell you they knocked it out of the park with this movie right here. And I know it got a lot of awards. I can't remember if it got some awards on sound. I know it did for cinematography or how however they shot the scenes and the car scenes and I may have got something for sound. I just I just can't remember. But all I know is this movie knocks it out of park in every way. Picture, sound, and the movie is fantastic. And uh, boy, you better believe them race scenes inside the race car. It give your system a workout. And uh, just sounds good. It's 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 uh, sound porn if you want to say that. I mean, just hearing that sound just just does something for me. <laughs> that may be the wrong way to say that, but. Uh, it does. It it just it just does something for me when I hear any of these movies. And I'm a sound guy. I, I'm a picture quality guy. But just the sound is what does it for me. And I'm telling you, this movie right here is fantastic. Uh, great for your collection. I got a lot of car movies, and uh, I was gonna bring uh, Need for Speed in here, uh, but it's it's not Atmos. It's not DTSX. And I think I'm gonna do a, a, a one. I'm gonna do a video on movies that has the best sound with non-Atmos tracks because I'm telling you that Need for Speed. If they ever redid that movie in 4K with an Atmos or DTS track, it would be it's gonna be phenomenal because it is good in its own right, and it's a good movie. It's very underrated. So anyway, four versus Ferrari. Get this one, and uh, let's let's hope Need for Speed gets something something going because i like to get it on 4k at most i think they ought to do a sequel i just i like that movie so anyway the next movie that i got is fury now i mean how much more can you talk say about sound when you're talking about tanks rolling on the ground and shooting these big cannons at each other and and those cannons bouncing and whizzing by and, and i mean this it this is a crazy movie it's good. Uh, there's a scene where they're they occupy this little town and they're getting ready to leave and I think the Germans is gonna shell the town. You can hear that shell when it takes off and you can hear it coming across by, from behind you and going over the top until it hits the buildings. It, it's, it's, they did a good job on this movie as far as sound and the picture's not bad. It's, it's, it's not a dark film. Uh, it's got a lot of good colors and stuff, but definitely got that demo worthy scenes anytime that those tanks are shooting and especially that scene where they're uh, fighting that uh, tank in the field and stuff it is crazy and uh, definitely worth it pick this one up Fury great movie great Atmos track uh, alright let's go to another monster movie I mean Godzilla vs. Kong well, what, what else can you say you got two giant titans fighting and then they fighting mecha godzilla 
So, I mean, what? I mean, there's a no-brainer to, to pick this one up. Dolby Atmos, uh, picture quality is good. Uh, it just, I mean, hey, you got to get it, test it out, throw it in up there in, in, in your movie and just let the people listen. I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's ear candy. It's, it's good. So, Kong versus Godzilla, I think everybody should know to get that one. And we'll go uh, another step further and we'll go with Godzilla, King of the Monsters uh, again. We got all these big titans and and all these other ones. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong. Uh, Dolby Atmos and it is just just a good movie. Uh, a lot of dark scenes. Most of these monster movies are, you know, they they can get away with uh, less quality CG if they make them dark, and it's fine. Uh, but you gotta have you know you want to have a good projector and good setup to be able to see in the dark scenes and stuff and. Uh, I know that 1080p projector that I had struggled on a lot of these movies, but uh, this new 4K one, man, it got no problems. Uh, so, yes, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, it's, it's this reference, in my opinion. It's, it's just all these monster movies. All these movies here are very good. I highly recommend these. Give you system workout. Let's go back to another DC movie, and everybody knows Aquaman. Aquaman, this movie has a lot of bass in it. A lot of underwater stuff. Uh, just the picture quality is the reference. It is, it is very, very good. Colors pop. Like I say, DC struggles a lot of times on making good movies, but what they don't struggle in is sound and picture. They always, they always deliver, in my opinion. And I could have brought Wonder Woman in here. I could have brought uh, Shazam in here. I mean... The Justice League. I mean, all those look and sound good. I mean, you can't you can't argue with, you know, with with their picture and sound of any of the DC movies. But, you know, Aquaman is definitely a standout, and that Batman v Superman was a standout. So that's why I showed these two. Hey, I highly recommend them. As far as showing your system off, all right. Now, next one is Midway. Uh, Midway is a, is again, it's a fantastic movie. They'll be at most. I mean, the scenes with the ships blowing up and shooting and, and dropping these uh, bombs and all that stuff. Hey, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, so definitely, definitely, definitely check out Midway. I wish they'd bring Pearl Harbor on 4K. That would be a phenomenal movie. And uh, as this one is, uh, definitely get this one. And the last two are uh, Tom Cruise movies. Tom Tom, Top Gun Maverick uh, I, is a fantastic sounding movie. Anytime they get into the jets and fly, it is just, it's amazing. So, and we know the picture quality on this is good. Sound quality is good. It's a go-to demo for me. Any of the flight scenes, especially the last scene, last act of the movie uh, with them, you know, in the planes and fighting and going through the actual mission. It's, 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 it's reference, a good demo, and uh, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it, guys. All right, the last one, of course, is Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, now, I still have my Blu-ray version of this because you, everybody knows they cut down the, the low frequency on the first, uh, when it first comes on. Uh, but the, the, the rest of this movie, the sound, the picture is, is, is pretty doggone good. So it's, again, this is a reference, uh, for me that I demo and stuff. And, uh, and, uh, it's, it's worthy of any collection if you want to show off your system. So guys, I think that was about 16 moves or so. Uh, just wanted to give you guys some ideas, stuff y'all probably already know, man. Uh, these movies are really good and they, they show off your system and make make your system shine uh, and put a little smile on your face too. Hard work, well done. So guys, that's my that's my video for today and I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, I checked this morning. I'm at 1,988. I need 12 more subscribers. Uh, I didn't think I could make it to uh, 2,000 by the end of the year. Uh, but I've had some friends on Facebook that's been helping me out. And uh, doggone, I'm real close right now. And uh, I mean, there's nothing special other than just uh, the more subscribers I get, 
uh, more opportunities I have to be able to do special things and uh, just more opportunities to share stuff. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, uh, hit me up. And uh, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really like begging for subscribers a lot of times. I just kind of let that go. I mean, it's going to come when it comes, but uh, guys, I really, I really want to try to take my channel to the next level, especially next year. And uh, I need your help. I mean, I can't do it uh, if I don't have the subscriber count. So guys, I hope y'all have a good weekend. I hope you have a happy new year and uh, we're going to see you again next year.